Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we're going to be playing with the new Disney Princess collection from I Heart Revolution. Yes, they have launched some new bits. I am super excited. So they have launched some new Disney Princess palettes. Uh, I'm excited. I say that in every single video, but I really am. I'm really excited. So yeah, if you didn't know, I Heart Revolution, they have launched so many Disney Princess palettes. So far, they've launched five. Um, and now they've added two more to the collection. So the first three they came out with is was the Beauty and the Beast, the Cinderella, and then the Prince and the Frog. So with each collection they have a palette and then they came out with they come out with highlighter individually. I don't have all the highlighters, I only pick up picked up certain ones. Um and then they launched glosses and then with these three first ones they launched lashes but they haven't done that so far with the more recent ones that they've launched this year they've literally just launched the palette then the highlighter by itself and then a lip gloss so yeah and then a couple of months ago they came out with the little mermaid palette and then they launched the aladdin palette they launched these separately and um, but again they came out with the highlighters and the lip glosses um, so I've already done reviews on all five of these palettes and yeah, already done reviews on them. So if you do want to see that, I will link the playlist above and that's also at the end of this video, which will show all the videos that I've done using these palettes. So yes. It's then now they've launched two new Disney Princess collections. I only got a couple of bits. So yeah, I got, we have the first one. The Sleeping Beauty palette. They launched this, then they launched the glosses, which I did also get. So yeah, and they launched the highlighter, and that was it for the collection. They didn't launch usually with the lip glosses; they just launch one big one. But these are like mini sizes, so yeah. Um, and then the highlighter, just yeah. Was a, I'm not too fussed on the highlighters by themselves because in the palettes they already have like face products so yeah and then they launched the Snow White collection and I only picked up the palette Um, I only got the palette they launched a gloss didn't really want the gloss they launched the highlighter didn't really want the highlighter and they launched another small palette which looked quite cute but it was very like just neutral and it was like a, a long one so yeah but I only got the palette so I will be reviewing this palette in a separate video but today we're going to be focusing on the Sleeping Beauty range and I am so excited so yeah let's jump straight on into it okay so like I said they've launched the new palette this is the Sleeping Beauty one I love the packaging the packaging on all, all of them is amazing so obviously on this one we have the picture of Sleeping Beauty she is asleep yes um, and then around the outside there's like a little spinning needle is it a spinning needle that she pricks the finger on I think it is um, and like a rose I just love it and it's pink it's beautiful I literally cannot with this packaging it is stunning so yeah and um, just to let you guys know this palette does retail for 15 pounds i will of course be going through the glosses as well um but we will well i'll like do swatches and stuff when we've finished with the eyes and all that jazz and then the glosses they launch they retail for 10 pounds i'll also leave the links to these and the collection down below it is an affiliate link so yeah sorry let's jump back into it so when you take the palette out the palette is the same as the packaging on the outer box i do keep the boxes for these i do say in a lot of my videos i don't keep packaging however for certain products i do and i definitely keep it for this range because i love disney so yeah then when you open her up the shades the shades you do get like plastic sleeve I don't really like these because I've had a couple where it's like with one of them it was like sticky here like it's still sticky there so when I close the palette it kind of gets stuck but yeah they do come with plastic sleeves so yeah when you when you open her up it does say on the middle once upon a dream 
and then you have the eyeshadows on one side and the face palette products on the other side look at these shades mm, i love these shades i also love the background of the eyeshadow side um i really like that i think this is the first time they've done like a different background to each side i think usually it's the same i could be wrong let me know but yeah um Oh, I love it. So it's nice. They've got a couple of neutral shades in here, but I'm really drawn to the pops of colour in this palette. Like, really, really love. Um, I also love the shade names. We've got Sleeping Beauty, Aurora, Spell, King Stefan, Maleficent, Love, Kiss, Wish, Dreams, Curse. Yes, I love it. Rose, love it. And then on the other side, we do have these beautiful blush and highlighter shades. Them blusher shades are, they are just phenomenal. Like, look at them. Look how gorgeous they are. Um, so all very, like, pinky toned, like, different tones of pink. I definitely feel like if you have a deeper complexion, you'll be able to get away with this. But also, if you're a paler complexion, like myself, you'll be able to use this as well. So I think they definitely put, a shade in here for everyone which I really like because in some of them some are more suited to lighter skin tones some are more suited to deeper skin tones so I like how they've got a mixture in here for everybody um, and yeah I'm literally obsessed <laughs> obsessed so yeah I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna swatch a few of the shades now I will be swatching the face um, shades when it comes to me applying them to my cheeks and that kind of thing but for now I'm just gonna swatch the eyeshadows that really stand out to me Okay, so here are some swatches. I mean, they swatch all right. I kind of feel like they perform better on the eyes. Like, whenever I come to swatch these Disney Princess palettes, they don't swatch the best. However, when I do use them on my eyes, they seem to work a lot better. So, yeah. I don't really know what shades to use today, but yeah, we're just going to dive straight on into it. So, I'm going to go ahead prime my lids zoom you guys in and we're going to get on into testing out this palette so yeah i'll be right back going into the first shade i'm going to take the shade hmm see that looks like a shimmer weird i'm so confused as to what's a shimmer and what's not okay so going in i'm going to take the shade make it blue first which is this shade here it's got a bit of a shimmer in it, but I'm hoping it can kind of fade a little bit. I'm going to pop that on. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's not going to fade. However, it's fine. We'll make it, we'll make it work. I'm going to pop that on. Like so. I'm gonna do a two-tone look again because that's all I know how to do apparently. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I should have used this shade. However, it's fine. We will make it work. We will make it work. Then I'm gonna go into the shade Spell, which is this beautiful deep purple shade here, this one. I'm gonna pack that on next to the blue. Build it up. So far the shades are quite pigmented, they're quite nice. Um yeah. I am a sucker for their Disney palettes. I really am. I love this. This is stunning. Stunning. I think I'm going with the shade 16, which is this shade here. It's like a greeny kind of shade. But yeah, I'm going to basically, basically, I'm going to blend out the blue shade with this. Hopefully it'll blend. I just didn't realise how much of a shimmer that first blue shade is. So yeah. 
we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. Love. It's quite pale this shade, however it's still showing up, it's just taking a little bit more blending, packing on, that kind of thing, but it's still doing the job that I need it to, so yeah. And then above, above, above the purple, I don't know what I'm doing today, I'm like going a bit crazy, I think I'm going to take Sleeping Beauty, yeah, we're going to take the shade Sleeping Beauty, which is this shade here, it's it looks like a red but it's definitely more of like a pinky kind of shade like keep looking in i'm thinking is it red but no it's definitely more pink so we're going to use that to blend out oh gosh to blend out the purple shade it's going to be a bit difficult to kind of blend into the green so i'm hoping that kind of works, the bluey green, whatever shade it is. This looks like it a bit, has a bit of a shimmer to it as well. A lot of their mattes seem to be like mattes with a bit of shimmer. It's weird. Yeah, I'm just going to take a clean brush and I'm going to take the shade Castle, which is this beigey shade here i like how they've added like a beige cream shade because um some of the shades are quite dark for my my skin tone so having a cream shade just helps to blend out the shades that are a little bit dark and that need a little bit extra extra blending to them okay so what i'm gonna go go and do is i'm gonna just build up these shades again i feel like they just need a little bit more blending a little more building up so I'm going to do that and then I'll cut my crease and then we'll pick a lid shade together. I don't really know what to use for the lid shade but we will figure it out together. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back. Of course, I've just cut my crease. Tried to blend it out a little bit more. I think I've made it work a little bit. Um, it's, just a weird, it's such a weird colour combo. Like I don't think I've ever done anything like this weird before. Like... But I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I think it kind of works a little bit. Anyway, yeah, so moving on to the lid shades. I'm going to take this shade King Stefan, which is this one here. Love it. Um, I'm going to pop that on the lid. I'm going to use a brush first. We'll see how well it applies. Stunning. Like with the shade, with like with the shimmers in this palette, they aren't like super foiled, and I've explained that before. They are more just like a normal shimmer shade, but I'm, I am not mad. I am not mad at all. Stunning. And then just gonna take the purple shade again, which is Spell, and I'm just gonna like blend it into the gold a little bit more. And then just go back into King Stefan and apply a little bit more, like so. Yeah, love it. Then for the inner corner shade, I'm going to take the shade Magical, which is this shade here. It's like an icy gold shade, like a white gold. Yeah. And I put that on the inner corner. Oh, look at that. Love. And I'm going to take a little bit on the brow bone as well. Just a smidge. Yes. I like this. I like it a lot. It's a different, it's a weird kind of colour combo, but I am still living for it. So, 
yeah what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to do this off camera I'm going to do my base and things like that and then I'll be coming back and we'll be doing and we trying out the blushes and the highlighters and then of course I have got the glosses as well so I'll be swatching these use one out today that kind of thing so yeah I'll be right back okay guys so I am back I have literally just done pretty much nearly all my base on my lower lash line I just used the shade kiss which is this shade here it's like a deeper pink red kind of shade just a tiny bit I didn't want to put too much on just a little bit so yes moving on to the blush and the highlighter I've already done my bronzer so yeah that's all good okay let's look at these shades oh my god they look beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna swatch them I don't even know what shade to use like honestly they look insane Um, so let me swatch them first so these are the three blush shades so we have make it pink which is the lightest we then have shield of virtue which is i would say the brightest one it's like a hot pink shade and then we have spinning wheel which is like a peachy pinky shade i'm kind of feeling spinning wheel so we'll use this one so this is the bottom shade it's this one here so i'm gonna pop a little bit of this on these shades are really usually pigmented so Oh my god that is stunning gorgeous gorgeous oh do you see that that shade is beautiful i really like this I really like it so yeah okay moving on to the highlighter shades obviously there is three highlighter shades um so it's almost like going from the lightest to the darkest upwards and um, so I'm gonna swatch these okay so we have the top one which is lovers first kiss which is like goldy shade I bet that's gonna be gorgeous on the deeper complexions then we have the shade Sword of Truth, which is this pinky toned highlighter. And then we have the last lighter shade, which is like a white highlighter shade. This is Prince Philip. Look how gorgeous that is. I think I'm going to go in with Sword of Truth, which is this one. Then I might mix it with Prince Philip. So I'm probably just going to mix these two together to create a custom shade. So... So I'm going to go in with Sword of Truth first, which is the pinky toned shade. Ooh. Then I'm just going to go on top with Prince Philip, but just a tiny bit. Love this. I like this. Sometimes I feel like the highlighters in this palette are better than the ones that are individual. Um, I only have a couple of the individual ones just because I prefer the ones from the palette so yeah that's just me being honest so yeah let's move on to the glosses now so we have three different glosses I like how it comes in this set again I will be keeping the packaging for this you know for like display purposes I think it looks so cute so yeah Oh my gosh, I've literally just noticed that the three lip shades are named after the three fairies from the from the film. So I really love that. So we have the first shade we have is Flora, which is this like peachy pinky shade. So I'll swatch this. The doe foot's so tiny. Oh, it's quite pigmented. 
I thought they were just going to be like a lip topper. The other ones are more like a topper that they've launched. So it, they're not like super pigmented. Then we have the shade Fauna, which is this shade, more pinky. I love how it has like the little pick, like the little outline of the fairy there. Is it a fairy? Is that what they're called? Yeah, the three fairies, aren't they? Yeah. love and then we have the last one which is Merryweather which looks like this clearly more of like a nude kind of shade so these are the shades so we have flora up top then we have fauna and then Merryweather. They're all very beautiful. All stunning. So I'm gonna line my lips first. I don't really know what one to use. Do I go with a more pinky one? I think I might go in with the, the peachy kind of one, which is flora. So I'm just gonna quickly line my lips, then we're gonna get on into applying it. Okay, so let's just quickly line my lips. I used the Morphe Backseat Love lip liner. I love this lip liner just for an every day kind of lip love it cute okay so the shade i'm gonna use oh yeah the shade i'm gonna use is fluoride which is like peachy pink shade so i'm gonna pop this on oh These smell really nice. They smell like sweets. These don't seem to have like shimmer in them, it's just like a normal gloss. Whereas the other ones have like shimmer in it, they're more like a lip topper. But I like this. This is gorgeous. What do you guys think? That wasn't me. It was the lip gloss. So yeah, love. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Please let me know. I think it's quite out there for me, but I do really like it. I think it's gorgeous, like living. Okay, so let's talk about the collection. Obviously I didn't pick up the single highlighter, so I can't talk about that, but I can talk about all the other products well the two products that i used so let's talk about the palette first first of all love the packaging i just i love it i think it's gorgeous i think all the little details for instance with the spinning wheel at the bottom i feel like the little details that i added into it just make this collection amazing so yeah i love that uh, i love the shades in this palette the shades in this palette are gorgeous i think you, you can create a variety of looks out of this there's a few shades that really like threw me, like the blue, I thought it was a matte and it's not a matte. Um, but other than that, gorgeous. Um, I actually just love it. Love it. I think the shades are gorgeous. They worked really well. They blended out together really well. Yeah. The only thing is, is there seems to be a lot more shimmer in these palettes then mattes that's not really a deal breaker however i do prefer more, having more mattes but yeah you can still create a variety of looks with this palette clearly because there's a lot of different shades in here and yeah i'm actually living for it and i also think the background makes the, the shades stand out a lot more so love that moving on to the face side obviously i only used two like three of the face products today however i feel like they all work amazingly same as with all the other palettes i feel like they all work amazingly they all pack on really well um the blushes are really pigmented um so i love that and i love the shades as well that this these shades in this palette are probably my favorite blush and highlighter shades that they've put in and yeah loving so i love the blusher shades beautiful 
as you can see it's a gorgeous shade if you are a pale complexion like me it will still work for you but i believe if you are of a deeper complexion it will also work for you as well same with the highlighter shades as well obviously i used two of the highlighter shades today and look at that glow i am living i can't say anything else it's just such a good palette 15 pound for the 18 is it 18 eyeshadows i think it's 18 eyeshadows yeah 15 pounds for 18 eyeshadows and then six face products stop it bargain bargain so yes moving on to the glosses i really like this i like how they've changed it up i like how they've brought out three mini glosses rather than just the one gloss um love it for eight pound as well i think it's it's pretty good it's how, how much does it work out per shade i don't really know it works out at like two pound sixty per gloss which is a bargain and i also love the shades in here as well and i also like how they've named them after the three fairies which are well, three fairy godmothers are they the fairy godmothers yeah i think they are i totally forgot i've not watched the film in a while i've watched maleficent though i love that film so yeah love this love the shades like the shade that i'm wearing flora i think it's beautiful yeah and i like how they're not like shimmery glosses i like how they're just normal glosses um i think they might have a little bit of shimmer in them but not as much as like the other ones they've launched so yes I really hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it would really help me out everything else i'm wearing on my face will of course link in the description box down below if you want me to do another look using this collection please just let me know because of course i can do that for you guys um but yeah keep your eye out for the snow white video because i will be of course reviewing that palette and all that so yes yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!